Hey guys, what's up? Today I am back with another video and today I'm going to be telling you how to jailbreak iOS 8.3, 8.4 on Tig Jailbreak on the Mac. Now this program just came out today for the Mac. I know people have been long waiting for it because it was only available to jailbreak on Windows with this program. And today I thought it would be great to show you guys how to do it on Mac. So basically all you have to do is download this one program right here called Tig and basically I'll have a link in the description also here's their website right here but I'll just link that in the description for you guys it's a real simple download you'll see the Mac version on there just click install it'll all work smoothly basically all you're gonna have to do is just download this program and then plug it in make sure to back up your iPhone on iTunes before because you never know what could happen so definitely make sure to back up your iPhone on iTunes you're gonna wanna make sure the passcode is off so to do this just go into your settings and then go into the touch ID and passcode and just make sure that you've turned that passcode off because it can interfere with the jailbreak and you definitely would not want that. After that, after you backed it up to iTunes and turned off the passcode, make sure that find my iPhone is also off. If you open the program, you'll see your iPhone, the iOS version. I am running 8.3, but this does also work on 8.4. I just didn't want to install 8.4. So once you put plug that in you'll see your phone pop up and then you'll see during the jailbreak what we will install of course Cydia is the main jailbreak it also has an option for 3k assistant which is basically just like another app store kind of thing but you really don't need it you just need Cydia I just recommend getting that if you want 3k assistant you can do some research on that but it's basically just another kind of app store thing where you can download other stuff once that's all plugged in I just have my phone sitting in the sleep mode and I'm just gonna click start right now and it's just as simple as that the jailbreak will already start jailbreaking and basically it'll tell you what's going on in your phone will just stay off it'll probably end up restarting for a few, a few times to jailbreak and this really shouldn't take too long guys so as you can see my phone has just restarted now the Apple boot logo just popped up and it's showing 10 percent on the jailbreak so I think I will let this go a little bit Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. As you can see, the jailbreak is now at 90% and it is starting the what I think is probably the final restart. Now this process only took about 5 minutes. I just wanted to cut that out so you guys didn't have to watch a boring 5 minutes where nothing really happened. It just went through some stages and restarted my phone a few times. But then it now it is restarting and it is at 90%, so we should have the jailbreak done pretty soon here. As you can see on the screen, it says the jailbreak was successful mm -hmm. and it says thank you for downloading it enjoy the jailbroken device I'm gonna close out of this iPhoto here and then launch Cydia first to configure the jailbroken device so if we go on to my phone now if we take a look as we scroll through on the second page right here we will now see Cydia which means the jailbreak has been completed is basically what Cydia means so if we go ahead and click on this open that up it just prepares the file system. This is what happens during every jailbreak you ever do. It has to go through the file system and then it usually asks if you're a user or a developer and stuff like that. It's very simple. It'll just literally walk you through everything you need to know from here. It does take a little while, I remember, to prepare the file system. So I will be editing this part out again too. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. The file system has now been complete. That only took about an extra five minutes and it did restart the phone again. So now if we go back into it and we go into Cydia, you'll see that it does load up normally now. You have successfully jailbroken your phone. I did not have any problems with that. It was very quick, very simple. It took me about 10 minutes only to jailbreak my phone. And now I have Cydia. You can install, you can start installing themes apps, anything you want, tweaks. I will have more videos of tweaks and stuff coming out soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this did help you jailbreak your phone, please like the video and subscribe as it really helps me out. I'm going to be making a ton more jailbreak videos now and I'm really looking forward to your guys' feedback on these videos. Thank you for watching guys and have a great day.